Hello, my name is Nick DeMesa, and today we're going to learn how to use StudyBlue, an online site that allows you to make, upload, and see flashcards. For this tutorial, you'll need a computer with an internet connection, and should take no more than 10 minutes. Let's begin by opening up a web browser. As you can see, I already have one open. Let's go to the search engine and type in studyblue.com. As it opens, you'll notice the main site, which, contain, which contains a lot of introductory information. Now in order to use the site, you'll need an account, so let's start by making one. Go to the top and click the Get Started Today button. You can create an account using various platforms such as Facebook, Google, or email. Let's try email. Fill out the information below and make sure to check off the Terms of Use box to join StudyBlue. Let's try signing in so we can start making our flashcards. Here's the main menu for Study Blue. Here we can see all our flashcards, and on the left are a multitude of tabs, such as Recently Studied, Search, Make Cards, and Upload Notes. In our backpack are various subject folders. For example, in Italian 101, all our Italian flashcards are here. Let's take a look at, actually, at how to actually use these flashcards. So in our Italian vocabulary folder, we have all our flashcards. On the left are a couple of options like flip cards, take quiz, review sheet, edit, print, and reminder. To start studying, simply click one of the flashcards to begin. A menu will pop up indicating how you want to study, such as how many flashcards, in what order, and which side first. Let's begin. On the right, we'll see some directions as how to, how to navigate. The spacebar will flip the cards, while the left and right arrows will indicate a right or wrong answer. The up and down arrows will allow you to skip between cards. Let's try it. Il bagno is the Italian word for bathroom. Since we're correct, we'll indicate a right answer using the right arrow. La porta is the Italian word for door. As an example, we'll indicate that we got this one wrong using the left arrow. La cucina is the Italian word for kitchen. As such, we'll indicate a right answer. Once we've gone through all the cards, a menu will pop up showing us some statistics. Of the three cards that we studied, we got two right and one wrong, indicating a 67% success level. On the right are some options, such as study again, or only study the wrong ones. Let's take a look at how to actually make some cards. So on the left, we'll go to the Make Cards tab. Here, an empty flashcard will pop up with some options as, as, as to how to edit, such as bold, italics, underline, and text color, and formatting. Let's make some flashcards about some basic Italian phrases. The most basic phrase is good morning, or buongiorno. Let's try. On the right, matching cards made by other users will appear, showing us that our definition is correct, and matches up. On the bottom, we'll put our English definition. Let's make another card, but we will use some options to, uh, to spice things up. So for here, we'll put bold, italics, change the color to green. Let's try buona sera, which means good night. On the right, we'll see that it matches other people's definitions. 
and put the appropriate answer. Another phrase that we can put is Arrivederci, which means goodbye. So on the top, we put the Italian. At the bottom, the English. Now once you're done making all the cards that you need, simply click the Save and Exit button. A menu will pop up, prompting you to give a title to all your cards. Here we'll put basic Italian phrases. And place this, these uh, flashcards in our Italian folder. Now we just have to go to our Italian 101 and backpack and see that it's here. Along with some changes that we made. Let's try. hundred percent. Great job. I think Study Blue is a great site to use for students as they as not only as a study tool but as uh, a research tool. Students can look into other flashcards made by other people by using the search option. They could look by subject or by uh, by creators and I think it's a really great option for students to really um, interact with their teachers and peers, whether it be in their direct classroom or with uh, students in other schools. Along with Study Blue, here are some other um, resources that can be used to really enhance your experience. Google Docs is a great way to share documents and share notes uh, between students. Duolingo is a great app on your phone. I personally have it, and it's great. It allows me to quiz myself on uh, various uh, uh, languages, and uh, tracks my progress. On the Study Blue site are some links to download the app onto your phone, so as you can have it anywhere. Thank you for watching, and I hope you really got a great experience learning how to study.